Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to see how to do a line trace so you don't have to have followed the, the series to be able to do this video. So if you want to implement line trace to damage in your own game, uh, you can just follow along uh, without any issues. Um, so we're going to start with that. So this is my um, old way to do damage here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to keep my bullet direction out of the way. I'm going to keep this in case I need it for something else. Um, so from my bullet direction here, me, I call that bullet direction, but you need to go be like just, you know, left mouse, for an example. Uh, you could just use that to fire off with that if you wish to. When you press, uh, it's going to cast a line trace. Uh, for me, for the purpose of my series, I'm using it that way. Uh, but for you, if you do it from scratch, uh, you better use your own key or left mouse key is the is the way you want so i'm just going to remove that and start with that tutorial so what's going to happen here we're just going to drag from this and we're going to search for line trace i'm going to take line trace by channel from that we're going to take our camera so if you didn't change the name it should be follow camera and we're going to try that here from that we're going to get the roll location for our camera and we're gonna get the forward vector so from those two here what's gonna happen well we're gonna connect the return value here to start we're gonna search for plus and we're gonna do add and I'm gonna plug add to n and the top here and from that we're just going to drag down and search for multiplier actually i'm not going to drag down from that i'm just going to right in the middle and search for uh, multiplier you take your multiplier here so now we need a float for the distance of our weapon because what we're going to plug here is going to be the distance that we can fire with our weapon so basically how far the line trace can go in our game so i'm going to create a variable I'm gonna call that gun range or gun distance, everything you want, it's no big deal. And we're gonna make sure that it's a float. We're gonna compile so I can modify the value. So here you can put a good value like 15,000, 20,000. Um, it's pretty far, you put whatever you want, the distance for the line trace, 15, 15 is pretty far in the game. Uh, so, but if you think you need more because you can zoom with your scope, for an example, uh, put a higher number. But for my purpose, I think 15 would be fine. If it's not fine, well, I can just come back and modify that. So I'm going to take the gun range here, drag it here, and I'm going to plug it right here. So now you can see it's four, uh, three floats, but as soon as I'm going to connect the forward vector, it's going to change four two vector and one float and from the return of that float we're going to plug it to the plus so like this so we're going to move aside here and from that we're going to drag from our out result and we're going to search for break a break it result we're going to make sure we click on the arrow here so we can have access to everything here so from that line trace we're going to drag and search for not preach but branch and we're gonna put a condition here um so it's where you're gonna decide which bone you want to hit uh for my case i want to be able to do headshot so when i hit the line trace will hit the head of a character an enemy is gonna do more damage than just shooting anywhere else so to do this um I'm just going to drag from the condition searching for equal and from the top equal here I'm just going to go to the uh, bone names and I'm going to type head in it so you can compile and save so if you go to your skeleton on your mannequin so my skeleton is here uh, if you want to access your skeleton or it's on content browser so you go character, mannequin, meshes, and that's the SK mannequin here for the UE5. 
So if you see here, I'm searching for head. So the bones is head. If you want different damage anywhere here on the body, you just look for the name that transform that match uh, the bone that you're looking for. And you can put that right here. For me, I'm just looking for head for now. So I'm just going to go with that. So now I'm going to take the it bone name. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to promote it to a variable. So if I can click on it, oh my goodness, or just drag from it and promote it to variable. Perfect. I'm going to unconnect that and put it right here. And I'm going to take the bone once again and not get, but we're going to set it and put it right there. So here I'm going to put head and here I'm going to put nothing. So from here, um, so basically if we hit and the bone, the line trace that touched the head is true, it's going to set that to true. I um, mean, it's going to set that to the bone, so head, and you could apply damage and decide how much damage is doing. Like for example, you know, 100. And if it's not the head, well, you could apply damage and put 10 for an example, right? And basically, it's how you will apply the damage with the line trace, basically. Uh, for my case, I'm using that with a bullet impact, right? So I'm using that with this kind of calculation. So my damage for me, it's going to be inside that blueprint. So I can have different kind of bullets in my game that do different kind of damage. So it's why I'm doing it that way. But if you don't want, you know, to get that too complicated, uh, you can just use it like this. So when the line tray is going to touch head, it's going to do 100. Otherwise, it's going to do 10, right? And uh, that's pretty much what it is. Uh, so for me, I'm not going to use it that way. So for me, I'm just going to remove that. And for the purpose of my tutorial, um, I'm just going to call this blueprint. So I'm going to call bullet impact blueprint. So I'm just going to drag from that. And I'm going to call um, what it is again. Um, I have a little blank here. So spawn actor from class. And I'm just going to select my bullet. And I'm going to connect both in it. And for me, when it's one of the other, it's going to call this. So I'm just going to click on spawn transform, split the structure. And the location will be the location right here. And compile and save. And now it's over for me here. So I'm just going to connect, connect. I'm going to take all of that. And I'm going to do um, comment. And I'm just going to call this basically what it's doing. So for me here, it's the line trace to the cross here. So I'm just going to call that like this. So line trace to cross. Here. there we go so it's a, it's how you do a line trace uh, to do some kind of damage so I will catch you in the other video to um, basically continue my bullet here to be able to do damage to our enemy but if you just want to see how it looks so we're gonna do that now so if you want to see the line trace in the game make sure you go to your line trace by channel just click on it get for duration and you compile that. So when we're gonna play, now I have my character here, so I can shoot. And you see, it's doing a line. It's exactly what we want. Uh, so it's gonna disappear five seconds after. So every time the line touch something, uh, it's doing damage. You see, it's moving the boxes. So that's pretty convenient. So I can put that full auto just to show you.
right that, that's pretty good so yeah that's pretty much this so i'll catch you on the other video to continue the bullet impact so we can do damage to our ai